The Washington Post is claiming Ukraine has been publishing photos and videos of prisoners of war in a bid to demoralize Russian society. In many of the images, soldiers' corpses can be seen burned, ripped apart, mangled in wreckage or abandoned in snow. In others, prisoners are interrogated by captors about the invasion as they shake with emotion. Some of the men sit crumpled, hands bound, eyes blindfolded with tape. Well, the apparent tactic is in the hope of fermenting anti-government protests inside Russia with the aim of shattering the country from within. The practice has been widely used since the start of the Russian offensive, yet the article warns it could lead to unwanted consequences. But the tactic also could be interpreted as a violation of the Geneva Conventions, which say governments must at all times protect prisoners of war from insults and public curiosity. It could chip away at Ukraine's ability to hold Russia accountable for violating international law. Former US Marine Corps intelligence officer Scott Ritter says such actions are a violation of the Geneva Convention and questions whether outside influence could be at play. We don't have to support the Russian action to understand that any abuse or maltreatment of Russian prisoners of war by uh, Ukrainian forces is a violation of international law. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time accusing Russia of violating international law, and yet here are our ostensible allies, uh, friends, people we trained, by the way, uh, who are violating international humanitarian law by uh, abusing these prisoners. And people say, well, they're not really abusing, they're just, uh, they're filming them. No, the, the, the Geneva Convention is quite clear that you do not expose prisoners of war to uh, ridicule or embarrassment uh, by, by filming them and then you putting that film out there so people can see. So uh, I'm not surprised that the Washington Post did this. I'm glad they did it. Um, uh, and um, you know, what I am surprised is that you know, we, we see a situation where the Ukrainian government has been working with various U.S. government agencies, more than likely the Central Intelligence Agency, to run a, a very uh, sophisticated information operation uh, trying to um, build up uh, a myth around the Ukrainian resistance that, you know, they hope will demoralize Russian citizens in, uh, in, in, in Russia uh, and also encourage Europe to rally 